Hey, welcome back YouTube. Uh, Matt here for those who don't know me yet. Uh, my name is Matt. I work on cars. Uh, a lot of you have seen my Jeep videos, but behind me I've got something a little different. I uh, decided to trade the Jeep in and went back to what I know best. And can't see it yet, but it's purple. Super rare color. Uh, and without further ado, I'll go ahead and introduce you to the new car. It is a 2018 Audi S4 uh, Prestige. And it's in an exclusive color. It's called Merlin Purple. I was pretty excited to find this thing. It's uh, certified pre-owned, very, very clean. Came with like the Sport S package, carbon fiber bits like the mirror and the spoiler and overall I'm super happy with this decision and uh, I'm gonna be transitioning the channel a little bit to do stuff to the Audi so today I've got my caffeine we're out here in beautiful Florida. The weather is great today. A little sunny, but probably in the 70s, a little windy. It's gonna be a good day to work on this thing. So today we've got a couple things going on. I've got the uh, 034 Dynamic Plus lowering springs. I've got a CTS uh, transmission mount that I'm putting in. Well, not a mount, but it's like the stabilizer that takes up the, the gap there. Helps keep everything nice and firm. And I also am going to do a resonator delete from ECS tuning. I, uh, I've already done a couple things. I had the front windshield tinted to protect the interior uh, with just the clear film. And I went ahead and I did JB4 software on it because I was so impressed with it on the Jeep. And this will help me keep my warranty if I ever need to go in because it is served by pre-owned. And also did some paddle shifters to show you those real quick. All right, so I just did these. Uh, they, they are a, a clip-on uh, and then up underneath there's a little set screw. I gotta say, these are pretty great. Got them uh, actually with the with the JB4 from a uh, forum user. I found a really really good deal on them. As you can see, the Audi. We've got carbon fiber Alcantara on the inside. Digital dash. Uh, it does have the nav package as well. This thing's awesome. I'm uh, I'm super happy that I was able to do it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing up on jack stand and start getting it apart. I'm gonna do a little tutorial today for you guys. I haven't seen too much for the spring install. So I'm gonna do a little little short tutorial, nothing crazy. And uh, hopefully that'll help you guys in the future if you wanna take this on yourself. I've done a lot of installs, so I'm not really scared to get my hands dirty and, and get in there. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels off, get this thing jacked up, and I'll be back. Thanks guys. Hey guys, real quick before I get started, I just wanted to show you, uh, just because I saw it was kind of a common question online. Pinch weld is there, jack it up there, and these two bolts there attached to the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and set my jack stands there on each side. I went ahead and shook it, tested it, make sure it doesn't move, everything feels solid. Alright, I'm going to get the wheels off. And we'll get started. All right, guys, we get the uh, get the driver's side done. You see the spring up in there. I'm just gonna show you what bolts you need to hit, and what you need to take off, and then on the passenger side, I'll show it to you uninstalled. So, first thing, it's this bolt that goes all the way through here, and you do have to get these out of the knuckle. Uh, this one came out with just. A smack I mean it was super easy this one however had a lot of corrosion this car was in New York prior to me getting it down here uh, so built up inside here was a lot of corrosion 
I suggest soaking it in some kind of penetrating oil. I did that. Uh, and then I did have to use just a little pry tool right in here just to get a little bit of leverage. Uh, don't pull too hard. You may break it. Uh, or so they say. I mean, it is probably a cast aluminum or something, so I guess it is possible. Um, but once I got that in there, gave it some smack here, here, and on the arm itself, it did come off um, after a little bit of uh, cussing. <laughs> and we also pulled the bolt off of the sway bar uh, end link. We pull the bolt down here at the lower control arm. And on this side, you pull this bolt and you have to use a strut spreader tool. Looks like this, sorry if it's a little windy, it picked up on me while I was out here. But anyways, this goes in here, you turn it with your, uh, with your ratchet, it opens this up just a little bit, allows the strut to slide in and out. And then, up top, you've got the 313 mils here, the sensor, make sure when you take this out, you don't bend it or anything. And, uh, and that's that. So everything's tight on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the passenger side. Once it's out, I'll show you all what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, passenger side is out. The side was a lot quicker, only because I kind of knew where to apply leverage on the knuckle there. Uh, and as you can see, it's pretty cruddy on those uh, on those posts there. So it's definitely it was, it was stuck in there. Uh, again, the front side was a little harder than the uh, than the rear to get out, but it came out pretty easy this this time. So I just wanted to show y'all. So as you can see, the strut it's out. It's on the ground. There's the knuckle. A little pro tip, you don't have to take the bolt all the way out. It kind of gets blocked by the axle and the knuckle from getting it all the way out. So I just left it in, strut spreader in there, came right in. No big deal. So again, it's just the top bolts. The bolt at the bottom of the knuckle, which is at the bottom of the control arm. There's the end link. And, uh... Yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spring compressor on here. Um, if you have an impact, you can just hit the top uh, 21 mil, I believe it is. I have to double check that, but you can, you can just hit it with the impact to get it off really quickly. Swap the spring over, put it back together. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for now. Still a little bit windy here, but uh, super nice day. So can't wait to get this wrapped up and then move on to the rear and um, see what it looks like. I've got some new wheels going on next week, so we'll see how it goes. All right, and just like that, the passenger side's done. This one went a lot smoother, a lot quicker, uh, especially because I knew with bolts to get and everything like that. I used to have an all roads. I'm kind of familiar with the upper control arms on the uh, Audis, but typically used to a Volkswagen, which actually is even a little bit more difficult because there's not a lot of droop when you unbolt everything. But uh, so that's all done, and I went ahead. I'm gonna try to show you guys under here. Uh, so if it's windy, I went ahead and installed the CTS uh, insert there. It's literally those two bolts. They are M10s, triple squares. Take them out, take the stock bracket out, put that in, bolt it up, good to go. crazy out here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the front wheels back on and uh, get the rear knocked out and depending on time uh, I might uh, still try to do the res delete. That doesn't seem like it's too bad. Um, you just have to cut the factory pipe on the rear and then bolt everything up. So I think I can knock it out but we'll see. I'll be back. Hold on guys, it's a new day. I, uh, I couldn't finish yesterday. Just kind of got dark really quickly. And the fronts gave me, you know, a little bit more trouble than I was hoping, but it is what it is. 
Rear's almost done though. I got the driver's side knocked out. I wanted to show you guys the passenger side. So I did the method where you pull the camera bolt out from right there, pull the shock bolt, and then loosen the control arm bolt. Make sure the jack is under it, lower it down, and uh, that's that. Make sure you mark where the camber is set up here. That way you can get it as close to where it was as possible. Before, uh, that way you don't have to rush and get in alignment. There's the new spring with the uh, spring seats on there. The bottom one with the 034 springs, I did have to modify a little bit just by cutting off some rubber. Uh, they weren't sitting in there properly and Upon some searching, I found that other people had the same issue. So hopefully O34 puts that out at some point or maybe includes new lower spring uh, mounts. But um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and I, I got, the, uh, got the resonator out. That was pretty easy. I used the OEM Tools pipe cutter. And as you can see there, it bolts up to the front where the factory bolts up. And then back there is where you need to make your cuts. What I did was I pulled the lower brace off, went ahead and zip tied the resonator delete up there, marked with a Sharpie uh, where I needed to make my cuts. And then I used this guy right here just wraps around the pipe, takes a couple of passes, and that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the rear spring in, wheels on, and get this thing back on the ground. I got something in my <laughs> uh, wear safety goggles. I didn't, I got some dirt and debris in there, so a little itchy and windy again today, but a nice, nice day in Florida. But uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and it's done all right everyone we are done and on the ground hopefully it settles a little bit more there is you can see the difference in the front for sure but the back I don't know back just seems kind of high and there's definitely a forward rake to it which they did say there would be a little bit of one but the rear looks really close to stock I mean, I don't know. It's supposed to load an inch, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens once it settles. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little cold start for you guys just to show you the uh, <coughs> the new exhaust. gonna go for a little drive make sure everything seems uh you know nice and tight make sure there's no issues with the suspension and uh we will uh we'll go from there so this is it for now thanks for hanging in and watching my video to my previous jeep subscribers uh totally understand if you don't want to follow me anymore uh, i no longer have the jeep so it's okay it's okay if you want to unsubscribe but uh, if you stick to the channel, I promise you, you'll see some, uh, you'll see some fun stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a good time with the S4. Um, gonna get out there and uh, get to the track, see what kind of times I can run, add some more mods to it. I've got new wheels going on Tuesday.
and uh yeah that's about it for now so anyways thanks again everybody don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video if you have any questions anything like that feel free to reach out to me and until next time talk to you later be safe out there